Hello everyone. Let's begin by asking the question, what is poetics? Poetics is the theory of literary forms and devices. This term is familiar to us mainly through the Greek philosopher Aristotle's work of the same name. Aristotle's poetics is believed to be an incomplete treatise and the work that we have with us today is a systematic attempt to define and understand only one genre, namely the art of tragedy. The treatise explores the various aspects of the genre, providing answers to what goes into the making of a tragedy and how it evokes the right kind of aesthetic response in a spectator. This attempt to systematize the study of poetry or all forms of literary composition is not specific to Greek or Western literature, but can be found in all literature worthy of the name. In the Indian literary history, the term poetics in its broadest sense was concerned with two domains of art, namely Natya or the play which blended drama, music and dance and Kavya or poetry and other forms of literary composition. The factors that distinguished Natya from Kavya in terms of form as well as content were so discernible that Sanskrit poetics virtually got bifurcated into two streams, namely Natya Shastra and Kavya Shastra. The Natya Shastra tradition of poetics, as the term denotes, focused primarily on Natya or performance of plays on stage with the accompaniment of dance and music. Kavya Shastra, on the other hand, was exclusively concerned with the ontology of Kavya or poetry and literary prose. Sanskrit Kavya Shastra believed that it is the presence of certain special linguistic features such as poetic suggestion, figures of speech or figurative deviation etc. that contribute literariness to a work of art. Therefore, Throughout its history of almost a millennium, Sanskrit Kavishastra was exclusively preoccupied with the task of identifying and analyzing the formal devices generating literariness in a work of art. The chief motive behind this praxis was the assumption that systematic knowledge about factors that generate literariness in Kavya would contribute greatly to the creation of good art. In response to this enquiry into the soul of literature, Sanskrit theoreticians came up with different formal elements such as Alankara, Riti, Guna, Dhvani, Vakrokti, Auchitya, etc. as the building blocks of literalness. Despite their differences of opinion regarding the prioritization of these formal elements in terms of their contribution to literalness, they all had a consensus of opinion on the idea that literariness is largely a textual entity. The proposed course aims to introduce the students to eight major schools in Indian literary theory, which functioned as the foundation of these two streams of poetics. And these schools include Rasa, Dhvani, Vakrokti, Auchitya, Alankara, Anumana, Guna and Dosha. In addition, this course will also introduce the students to some of the basic components in Tamil poetics and discussions about the relevance of Sanskrit poetics in the contemporary literary scenario. Thank you.